हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल सुशु कुमार घाडगे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग द ग्रैंडुलोसाइट्स सो दिस ग्रैंडुलोसाइट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट डब्ल्यू बी सी सेल्स दे आर गोइंग टू दे आर कंटेनिंग द ग्रैंडुल्स इन देअर साइटोप्लाजम एंड दे आर गोइंग टू बी डिवाइडेड इन टू द थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स वन इज न्यूट्रोफिल अनादर टाइप इज योसनोफिल एंड द बेसोफिल सो दे आर गोइंग टू बी डिवाइडेड इन टू दिस थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस मॉफोलॉजी डिपेंडिंग ऑन देअर स्ट्रेनिंग प्रॉपर्टी दे आर गोइंग टू बी डिवाइडेड इन टू दिस थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप वन इज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ रिगार्डिंग द न्यूट्रोफिल्स सो दिस न्यूट्रोफिल्स वेन यू गोइंग टू बी कंसिडर दे आर गोइंग टू बी कंटेनिंग द मल्टीलोप न्यूक्लियस इन देयर स्ट्रक्चर दे आर दिस न्यूट्रोफिल्स आर द फर्स्ट सेल्स विच इज अराइविंग एट द साइट ऑफ इम्प्लीमेशन their concentration is generally indicate um, is increasing in the case of infection so uh, if any person uh, having high number of granulocytes are there that is indication of the infection in that particular person uh, when you see this role of this neutrophil is nothing but the phagocytic in nature and they are going to be containing the antimicrobial agent in them the second type here is nothing but the eosinophil they are phagocytic in nature they having the uh, they have play role in the parasitic organism they are anti parasitic in nature so in pa anti parasitic parasitic infection this eosinophil has a major role when you going to be a uh, consider the third type here uh, is nothing but the basophils they are non phagocytic in nature and uh, they have play role in the allergic reactions like uh, in uh, certain persons having allergy regarding the pollen grains or penicillin in that scenario this basophil has a certain roles in the allergic reactions when you going to be consider so now we can see here uh, there are th uh, there are basically these three different types of uh, uh there are three types of uh, when you see this comparison between this neutrophil eosinophil and the basophil when you see the structure of the uh, uh when you see the structure of the nucleus in them uh, in neutrophil you can able to see the multilobe nucleus in them while in uh, eosinophil it is bilobe nucleus is there while in case of basophil there is lobe nucleus is there uh, when you see the staining property regarding this three uh, granulocyte the uh, you can able to see here uh, uh when you see uh, regarding the this neutrophils they are st both stain with the acidic as well as basic dyes uh, eosinophil only stain with the acidic dyes while the basophil can stain with the only uh, basic dyes when you going to be a uh, consider so uh, that's why the name is uh, given on means uh, that's why on the basis of this uh, structure nucleus property and uh, on the basis of staining they are going to be divided into this uh, three different types uh, when you see the concentration of this uh, neutrophils uh, inside our body uh, 50 to 70% of the we see is when you consider it is neutrophil in nature a uh, 2 to 5% of w base is eosinophil in nature while uh, basophil concentration inside your body is 1% of your uh, total w base when you going to be consider here both neutrophil as well as eosinophil are uh, phagocytic in nature while uh, uh, when you consider regarding the basophil they are non phagocytic in nature when you going to be uh, consider uh, <coughs> when you see the roles of this neutrophils they are going to be phagocytic in nature uh, they are they will showing the one property that is extravagation so they can able to miss uh, enter from the blood circulatory system into the tissue spaces and they will enter at, at the site of the inflammation and they are the first cells at the arriving at the site of inflammation when you going to be consider uh, when you see a role of eosinophil uh, uh, that are nothing but the anti parasitic in nature and in, uh, in parasitic in patient Uh, their concentrations are going to be reduced. Uh, they are also extravagations, so they can show mis enter uh, from the blood circulatory system inside into the tissue spaces, and uh, they are showing antibody dependent cytotoxic activity against the parasite. They are going to be containing certain basic granules in their cytoplasm. and uh, when you see this uh, basophils uh, their role major role in the allergic responses like uh, in case of pollen grains uh, a certain person having allergy regarding pollen grains or uh, penicillin allergy in that sense uh, this basophil has uh, certain roles in the allergic responses and uh, they are in their cytoplasm they are going to be containing the pharmacolo pharmacological active mediators and uh, uh, they have a major role in the type 1 hypersensitive reaction so uh, when uh, second time uh, the same pollen grains or allergens coming inside your body uh, they are showing certain allergic reaction uh, in that scenario this basophils are going to be involved okay so this is about the uh, certain things regarding the granulocyte thank you so much